Today we're going to be talking about an overview of X-ray scatter. Hey guys, I'm Brian Ett from HowardAlgeWorks.com. We have bite-sized content for those of interest in the radiology field, especially technologists. If that sounds interesting to you, click below on subscribe and then click on that little bell icon so you can get notified when we release new content. Again, what we're talking about is X-ray scatter and an overview of the different parameters that affect x-ray scatter. Starting now. If you have an x-ray source shown here, and you have an x-ray detector shown here, and then you have an object here, and then there's something inside the object that we want to see, when our x-rays go through the body, they're going to interact in either a photoelectric or Compton interaction, as we talked about in our series on general X-ray interactions with the body. So Compton or photoelectric are the two options, essentially, in the diagnostic imaging range. And so as those photons come in, if there are primary photons that are detected in the detector, they'll look something like these original green ones that are going all the way. And then... If it's a secondary event, it comes in as a primary event, and then it undergoes a Compton scattering, and then comes off at some angle, and is detected in a different location than the primary direction. What happens is, this leads to extra counts detected in the detector that we don't know exactly where they came from. Well, in X-ray imaging, it's like adding a, a blurry haze to the background of the image. And that's what you can see here. This is an image without any anti-scatter grid. And then this is an image with an anti-scatter grid. Now there's a haze added to the background of this image, which is improved in the case of this image, again, of the brain. Again, this has been Brian Nett with HowRadiologyWorks.com. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite or least favorite part about x-ray scatter is. And head on over to HowRadiologyWorks.com backslash scatter and download your free one-page PDF cheat sheet about the directionality for scatter with all the given technical parameters that we're going through in these videos. Thanks.